got some important dates for the Miami Dolphins and for NFL teams. And also, when you guys asked a very good comment of the day, I'm going to answer that. Let's jump into this. What is up, Finn and fans? Finn fans. You guys. And you might not even be a Finn fan. You might be another team's fan that was like interested in seeing what the Dolphins' important dates are that are coming up. And if you are, thank you for, so much for subscribing and and uh, feel like listening to me talk about the Dolphins and other football teams. Without further ado, and me rambling on like a big old dum dum, we're gonna jump into this. And like I said, and like the like the title says, I got some important dates for the Miami Dolphins, and we're gonna jump into it. I'm not gonna dilly dally and beat around the bush anymore. OTAs. We got the OTAs. They are May 22nd and the 23rd, the 25th, the 30th, and 31st, and June 2nd. You might ask yourself, Doug, what the flip are OTAs? Organized team activities. And this is kind of where the new guys, like Jalen Ramsey, the whole defense, um, you know, we got Vic Fangio now, and maybe some of the new guys on offense. There is none right now, but maybe we draft some, maybe we bring some in, maybe we do something like that. This is where they come in and they start to learn the playbook and, and you do some dry runs, you know, no no pads, no contact, no stuff like that. Like the first few days are a lot of uh, physical physicals, a lot of, you know, running, this, this and that. And then they kind of slowly go into, so it's like flag football-esque type of stuff. But again, OTAs, organized team activities, is more about getting used to playing with each other and getting used to the playbook and the terminology and all that stuff. So that's OTAs. Then we also have FOOM, mandatory mini camps. Now OTAs aren't mandatory. They are not mandatory. You can like Xavier Howard can decide I don't feel like going to mini uh I don't feel like going to OTAs or um Ron Armstead might be like, look, I'm still, you know, trying to heal up on that toe and all this stuff. So I'm not going to be at OTAs and there's nothing to really blink an eye at. Hey, if, you know, Lamar Jackson still hasn't been traded or signed with another team and he's like, I'm not going to OTAs, people are going to make a big deal out of it, but it means nothing because OTAs is nothing. Mandatory mini camp, that's something different. Now, again, these mini camps are the, the whole off season's about installing uh, the new playbook and get you guys acc getting them acclimated and all that stuff. But mandatory mini camps is mandatory and it's a mini camp. And as you can see, it's from June 6th to the 8th. It's three days of mini camp. It's kind of, it's the last hurrah essentially before they go on a break and then they start, start training camp. So mandatory mini camps is June 6th to the 8th. Also for the rookies, for blam, they have a mini camp. It's May 5th to the 8th or 12th, to the 15th it's a three-day window and you kind of you know can choose when you want that three-day window for your rookies to come in and again i'll reiterate learn the playbook get acclimated to the nfl all that stuff so for the rookie mini camps that is it's either may 5th to the 8th or 12th to the 15th again the draft is on the 27th 28th and 29th so essentially they'll will, they will get drafted uh, one, two, three, four, five. They'll get drafted, and then they have about four or five days. Four, five days. And then they got mandatory, and then they got mini camps uh, for the rookies. So there's that. Also, I know a lot of you guys are chomping at the bit, really wanting to see this. The schedule release. Now, this isn't in a firm date. Could be Thursday, May 11th, and they normally release it at 8 o'clock. This isn't a firm, hard release. This is when it's going to be released. But a lot of people kind of looked at when they released the schedule, how far after the draft. Now, again, the draft is 27th, 28th, and the 29th. And some people think it could be the Thursday, you know, about 11 days, give or take, after the draft, that Thursday after the draft. So May 11th seems to be the day that the Dolphin, the Dolphins, the NFL is going to release the schedule. Now, normally I make a video right? I go social media dark and then I make a video at eight o'clock and I see it with fresh eyes and I react to it. I never predict and I'll explain it when I make the video, but I think this year I'm going to do it differently. I think this year I'm going to go live. A lot of you guys say, Doug, just go live, go live, react live, blah, blah, blah. And I sat back and I thought, and I said, you know what? 
I might go live. I might do about a half hour, 45 minute live stream uh, schedule release bonanza. So that's what's going to happen on May 11th at 8 o'clock. I will be going live and I will see the schedule for the very first time with my peepers. Not, I'm probably not with you guys because, again, on Twitter, they tend to release like what the primetime games are, what the Thursday night games are, what the Sunday, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm thinking Thursday, if it is released May 11th, I'm going to go live. And we're going to, we'll, you'll see my live reaction. You guys will probably already know the schedule. So again, give you guys a little recap. OTAs, May 22nd, 23rd, 25th, 30th, and 31st, and June 2nd. You have uh, rookie mini camps May 5th to 8th, or the 12th to the 15th. You have mandatory mini camps June 6th and the 8th. And then you have training camp is always the end of July. It's like the last week of July. The new guys with the new head coaches and all that stuff, they start earlier, like around like july 23rd i will give you oh let me give you an exact date so yeah you're the new guys with the new head coaches and stuff it's probably that first like 23rd 24th of july and then the guys who you know us mike mcdaniel's been with us for a hot minute uh probably later on but again end of july is the start of training camp so again the last hurrah is the mandatory mini camp june 6th to the 8th and then they go on a long break about a month month and a half and then training camp so I wanted to give you guys, also there's some other stuff. May 2nd is the last year, uh, last day for the fifth year option deadline. Um, and you know there's stuff like that, but that doesn't really pertain to the Dolphins right now because we already picked up the fifth year option. And I really, really, really doubt they will pick up the fifth year option for Austin Jackson or for Liam Eikenberg. Not a knock on them, but I don't think they're worth it and I don't think they'll pick it up. So those are the dates. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. No OT. I don't think I'm like 90% sure, but I don't think OTAs is open to the public nor mini camps. Um, training camp is. And when I get the dates for which training camps are open to you guys, the public, you know, for a fact, I will make a video and I will talk about and I will show you the exact days and what, you know, they'll have like vets day and they'll have. Uh, fan awareness day and stuff like that i will let you guys know which dates those are so comment below let me know what you guys think and i'm going to get to comment of the day this comment comes from legos and he says comment of the day what's up doug man question who do you think will be the better second string quarterback white or thompson um that's a very good question now skylar thompson he shows flashes, and I really do like his physicality. I like his, you know, he's a big guy. He does have speed, and he does have the arm strength. It seems like with Skylar Thompson, his what's holding him back is kind of mental. He double checks himself, and then you know he gets in his head, and you know the defense kind of confuses him here and there. But again, he was a seventh round pick, and he played some big games for the Dolphins. Mike White. In his limited time playing, it was two years in a row where he kind of came in for three games. First game was, ooh, look at this. Second game was, Meh, and then he got injured both years in a row. He was solid. He was very solid. So who do I think will do better? I'll be able to answer that question better during training camp. But as of right now, I'm going to go with Mike White just because he has the experience. I'm just going to go off of experience right now where Skyler doesn't have the experience. He has a playoff experience, but... I'm going to go with Mike White right now because he has more experience. But Legos, thank you so much for the comment. Uh, if you want to be part of comment of the day, just comment below like everyone did and say comment of the day so I can search you and find you. But other than that, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow with breaking down the offensive lineman with Bro Schmo. But like usual, stay classy. Our heads up.